you. Welcome, welcome to the Daily B Show with Maddie B and Jasmine LeBlanc. We're going to have a good chat today about some manifestation, mastering your mindset, um, finding your purpose. I did recognize it in my um, marketing post. I said the poor poise. So you will notice a lot of um, spelling mistakes come up with, uh, with some of my work because I'm a little bit sloppy like that, but <clears throat> we're getting better. So... Um, yeah, Jasmine and I have met just through social media pretty recently and she has just yeah been everywhere. She's introduced me to a lot of amazing people. She's got an amazing mindset herself. She's um she's been a ag, she comes, she's been a a travel agent for a long long time and she's doing some pretty amazing things in 2019 is going to be pretty epic for what she's been putting together and where she's focusing her energy and I just wanted to share that with you guys as well and sort of give you an example of someone that's really pumping um pumping out as much effort and energy into her passion and what she's really recognizes her purpose as well. So let's let's get her on and get this show on the road. Ah, it's well, I just got to Queensland today and I'm so wedding. So as you know, I don't think this show's going to last very long. So let's see how we go. So that's adding. Let me know if you got that, Jasmine. Hey, Frankie V. Hey, Maddie, can you hear me? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I can, I Thank you, you, everyone. I'm in my Uber with uh, Jean-Pierre. So thanks, Jean-Pierre, for allowing Yo. me to go live from his car. <laughs> hey, Jean-Pierre. Absolutely. What a legend. Well, so thank thanks for so hanging out for having, as well. Oh, thanks for having me on. Seriously, um, I'm excited. So, yeah, you, seriously, you, Ryan, um, so many people that we both work with, um, have just yeah. been rocking my world so much recently. Um, so, like a lot of other people, I'm thank you to you know so thankful to um, have you come into my life and um, also open some yeah, doors cheers. up that I hadn't actually um, so far come across myself. So I'm excited to, as you put it the other night, go down the rabbit hole. So yeah, there's some um, great things for me to start learning and um, yeah, opening my world a little bit more to some other things. So yeah, thank you and thank you everyone Definitely. else out there as well for joining us. Yeah, hundred percent. And it's just amazing the amount of people and the, the caliber of people that you um you have come into your life and the ones that fall away as well. When you do start just raising your vibration and when you do start to just um just lift your game a little bit, it, it just opens the door for all sorts of possibilities. And it's like they seem like coincidences, but there's there is no such thing as coincidence. It's full on. Yeah, now, I'm just I'm going to take my shirt off. Is that all right? You don't have to if you don't want, but it's, it's happened. I'm not sure Black how Jean-Pierre will feel, but yeah. <laughs> I'll keep going on. <laughs> nah, get get Jean-Pierre to get in on the action as well. I thought... Daddy's just taken his shirt off and he's like, you can, I can okay. keep mine on, but you can take yours off if you want. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's... yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. It's going to be a fun Uber right. ride. No. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, all right. So for those... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I burnt? No. Am I? No. A little bit, maybe. Fuck, it doesn't take long. I'm a white boy. What do you do? Get Jean-Pierre to drive to some freak. Yeah, maybe it's just because I'm super white and slash pink. I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to get more burnt. That's the plan. Welcome back to Rizzy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. So tell us a little bit about your yourself and what you're up to and yeah, what, what sort of 2019 looks like for you and a little bit about your past as well for those that don't know who you are and where you're from. Yeah, um, so hey everyone that I don't know. Um, a lot of you I do know, um, it's a small world and more that um, the more we meet people that are on the same spiritual path, um, the more other people come into our lives. So there's quite a lot of people that have, um, I'd say tumbled into my life recently. So thank you all for joining. Um, so, gosh, what are my what are my things for 2019? So, um, as you mentioned, I've been a um, a travel agent for quite a while. Um, I was uh, working for one of the big brands for a while there, and um, had a uh, a bit of trauma that came into my life that I'm more than happy to discuss as we go on. Um, that actually. Um, made me reevaluate my life. So, um, due to the big corporations, sometimes they don't look after the little guys. And um, I was actually let go um, during a, a med cert. And I just sat back and I thought, well, what's my passion? 
and what's my purpose here on life, in life. And so I knew that my passion was traveling and experiencing new cultures, cultures and I really love talking to people. Like they say the worst um, subjects are life, death and politics. Bring them on. Like seriously, beliefs I'm and all that it. kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite subjects to talk about. And when I've traveled the world, like there are some times when I like to stay in a cushy hotel, but I'm one of those people that is literally staying with the locals, um, getting to know them, eating their cuisine, even if it's something I, know, I don't end up liking because I want to experience yeah. life completely. Um, mm -hmm. So I knew that that was part of my passion, meeting people, learning about people. Um, and then my okay. purpose, it really comes down to helping people. So um, yeah. it could be anything from, gosh, as you guys saw this morning, made me so angry. I haven't been in the city for yeah. a while, but I was literally walking through the city and people are just walking past people that are sleeping on the street that have nothing. And, you know, whether it's literally going and buying a bottle of water for someone or maybe, um, you know, giving some clothes that you don't need anymore or to a better extent, um, working with a charity and helping them raise some money so that they can do even better. I just knew that that's my purpose. Yeah, and beautiful. I had to work out how do I incorporate them. Um, so I realized that I really wanted to help. Um, so women is my thing. Um, I really knew after learning to get to that place of complete and utter gratitude of acceptance about my life journey, of acceptance about what I've been through. And a lot of people think like, what is wrong with you? Because I'm actually grateful for um, the things that happened to me, um, that I'm crazy, but no. So um, I grew up with a bit of family violence um, and also had dated um, quite a lot of men um, that were quite violent. Um, and I almost um, lost my life on several occasions. Um, but there was a really big moment last year where all of that came to a head and um, I just realized that I've got to help women that have gone down the same path. So when I started getting back into travel, I started actually donating my own wages um, to help people and yeah. to help with the um, different uh, charities that are around. And this is why I want to talk to you about a foundation because I've been building this for a while and I just need to know how to do it. So. Um, I then decided that I need to do something more. I need to work with these women. And so mm -hmm. I have um, a couple little things that I do that help you find your purpose and your passion and literally turn that into what you want to do for life or even supporting people through that kind of um, that transition. Like recently I've had people pop out of the woodwork out of nowhere and say to me, I've got this person here that's just escaped from a situation. What do I do? And I'm so grateful and lucky that I went through those steps. So I literally said, this is where you get financial support. This is where you go and get refuge. This is where you go and get um, interest-free yeah. loans. Here's some people that can actually connect you to some yeah, mental, wow. um, mental health stuff. And it just, it, it literally, Rolling. yeah, it literally, I know it probably sounds stupid, but it makes my heart warm and it puts a smile on my face to know that I've literally helped someone get to their next point. And it's, it's so important in life. So... Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, awesome. So I want to, There's you touched on a lot of things there and I want to go through, yeah, like we'll go through them. Um, yeah. I want to take you back and just, just for a bit of a challenge, right? Um, a lot of people do identify with their passion as the thing that they're loving or the thing they're expressing. And what I've been um, challenging people on lately just to sort of gauge where um, maybe the perspective's at and, and sort of help myself understand as well is that, one thing that's really resonated with me is just being as, as far as our purpose is concerned, right? Is just to be the truest, um, highest, most authentic expression of yourself. And then when we, we talk about like um, travel or uh, meeting people or looking after certain, certain, certain minorities or, or certain things that um, stand out to us, right? Things that generally have affected us. Okay. I see them, <clears throat> I see them as our, our ways of expressing our love and when, when we get to that point of sort of unconditional love for ourselves and, and obviously for everything else, like you are with those past experiences, which a lot of people don't understand still, it's actually your, your, your now stepping into your being and, and being your true self. And yep. that is in itself your purpose. And, and from there, your expression, your purpose to be and express yourself fully is, I guess, where your free will comes in and you choose to express yourself in those different ways. But is that is that sort of on par with with um what you're feeling how you're how you're sort of 
journey has been or what, what does that sort of sit with you? Yeah, I think so. I think um, it's like, for me, I think sometimes it's not everyone's journey, but for myself, it's like the, when I finally acknowledged, I think my life's purpose um, and I started to finally acknowledge those kinds of things, I realized that it was, it was kind of like what you were touching on the other day about love is hate and hate is love. And it's like this duality. And it's like when you finally, for me, when I finally recognized why the universe was showing me these occurrences over and over again was for me to step into my purpose and my true self. Um, it was the biggest freaking awakening um, that I've ever had. And yeah. um, I'm just going to let you know. So my house, my street is all the way down past. And then it's a street on the left just there. Oh, no, the right. That's right, isn't it? That's right, guys. <laughs> I'm just taking notes. <laughs> um, we all know, we all know where you live now. Which is fantastic. <laughs> um, sorry, threw me there, Maddie. Um, but you were saying right. that you're finding, I guess, was it self-love through through being raw and being honest with, with your kind well, of journey? Well, just that um, I find a lot of people are trying to come up with this like this beauty pageant sentence of an of a um of a purpose right like yeah. i want to save the whales or cure aids or like something magical with glitter or the round of the sparkles right but for yeah. me it's it's universal where we're our, everyone's purpose is just to be just to be yeah. themselves wholly completely unfor, un, uh, unforgivably right but that's not a word um unapologetic oh, yeah. yeah um and to express themselves completely. And that's where I see most people struggling, which it sounds like what you've overcome recently is not being themselves and not expressing themselves completely because of fear of judgment, fear mm -hmm. of um, what a whole heap of things, right? But what it sounds like you've gone through and, and maybe you can dive a little deeper into the process that you went through or your, your sort of process of discovery was um, the challenges and pains that you went through. Do you need, do you need a direct him? Yep, just see the one with the car. That's mine. We're home. <laughs> Keep going there, Matt. Every house has a car. <laughs> um, so the, 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 <laughs> the processes of, um, or the experiences of pain that you've been through in the past, right? And, the, and they were cycles as well. Mm -hmm. But once you actually learnt how to balance them out and how to really see them for the, the gifts that they were, that's when you were able to move past them and actually start expressing yourself without the fear of what I guess others would think the yeah bringing them up and past. Yep, yeah completely absolutely completely um and I, I have to say like it was I don't know everyone's journey is different but for me it was recognizing exactly that that um letting go of what others would think, having and finding gratitude in the situation and understanding why the universe was calling me back to experience this again and again. And I really do believe that we already choose. Thank you so much, Jean-Pierre. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we already choose our life path before we come here. Um, and I just really needed yeah. to um, accept, be grateful and um, stand in my true self of, of who Jasmine is, like who, who yeah. I am. I am... Um, I, I kind of changed my last name a little while ago, but I kind of want to change it back because it doesn't, my, my fucking last name doesn't dictate who I am. You know, I was, I, when I was in that moment of like um, the lost moment and the utter feeling just sorry for myself and stuff like that, which is, you know, those other feelings, um, it created that. But right now, no, I'm, and this is, this is all a new experience for me. These things that have happened to me um, of, yeah. I've had gratitude for a while, but these latest feelings of complete acceptance, complete acceptance of who I am um, and stuff like that is, um, is such a new, a new feeling and experience for me. So there's little things there, I guess, that I'm still kind of um, understanding myself as well. So yeah, Definitely. Welcome home. And that's, <laughs> I think one of the things you touched on, yeah, thanks, thanks for letting us into your, your palace. So what, what I heard then, which I think is really prevalent and, and to touch on one of the, the points in the bio, which is just mastering your mindset is taking full responsibility and, and understanding that you chose everything, everything you've got, everything you've had is, has been your choice. And what you said about, like, you believe we chose our path before we got here. That is like the ultimate um, statement that I chose this life and everything 
and there's no room for shifting the blame to anyone. And that's really fucking powerful. Yeah. It's, um, can you talk a little funny. bit on that? Yeah. Well, I was going to say it's funny because the more, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I swear the more that we try and shift blame into others, like it might be, oh, well, this person did that or this person did that. It's like, a, it's like an excuse making thing. And I really, in, everyone's journey is their own. And I say this because it's that thing about um, what we think we create, what we create around us is, is actually our own manifestation of life. You're experiencing, you, you and I could be literally seeing and doing the same things and having a completely different experience. And so um, I like to say my journey and my life because everyone's is different. But for me there, when I would do that kind of stuff, it would actually, I know that I've got blocks in my sacral. I know that I've got blocks in my um, solar plexus area um, or my manipuri. Um, it's a big one that I know because I have a lot of them there. Um, and when I was literally putting blame to others, and it doesn't mean that those people didn't make choices that were wrong for the ideals or the things, but when I was literally blaming others and saying to them, what was me, my life is shit, I was making my life shit continually over and over again because instead of understanding what it was that the universe or I, my higher self, was trying to teach me, um, it wasn't allowing me to grow. So it yeah. wasn't allowing me to grow. It wasn't allowing me to accept gifts. It wasn't allowing me to progress mentally or spiritually. It was literally um, creating just a world of shit around me. So, you know, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure yeah. if I answered your question there. <laughs> no, that's right. It, it is. It's, um, it's just that difference between when you decide to take responsibility and accept that everything's your choice or not. And you're either giving away your power or you're claiming it back. Can you, would you be able to hold your microphone just a bit? Oh, when it keeps rubbing yep. on your shirt, a little bit fu fuzzy. Bit of chiffon um, wearing tonight. It's not usual yeah. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Doing well. Um, yeah, so I think that's really imperative. A lot of people don't get that. They don't get their 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 choice is everything they've got. And it's so quick and it's so easy to um to just blame, point the finger, and it's it just keeps you stuck in that spot. Do you do you remember when before you started really taking responsibility, this how the cycles just kept come going over and over and over? Yeah, sure did. Um, so, yeah, one of the things which I really love, um, so a couple of the meditations which you might have already done or been doing um, through Magnetic Mindset, um, but it actually takes you on a journey and it started making me open my eyes about the last six months and before then and um, I was literally, like, it was shit, man, seriously, like, no food, not enough money to pay my bills, literally scraping by, um, Others have gone through it as well, but, you know, just admitting that I literally had to call Vinnie's and ask them if they can help me with food. Um, literally walking to places so that I could go and do things that I needed to do and relying on friends and, um, you know, it's, it's a hard place and it's a really hard place to try and see a positive when you're in such a dark place. But I love that saying recently that's been popping up in my news feed a lot, which says that sometimes when you're in a dark place, it just means you've been planted and you're about to grow. Um, so oh, that's it's just, so cool. Yeah, it's just recognising those kind of things. But um, it was a hard place. And the more that, mm. talking about the other stuff before, the more that I dwelled on it, the more I created yeah. for myself. So I'm sitting there um, literally manifesting and meditating, saying, I need money, I need money, I need money. No, it's not I need money. It is I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head and I'm grateful that I've got opportunities to be able to get support from whoever it could be, a charity, a friend, whatever it is. I'm grateful that I have unconditional love from those that are and have stayed around me after trauma. And it's just like when you start to, to give that kind of light in those dark places um, is where you actually see the magic start to happen. And, um, yeah, yeah. It's um, instead of fighting it, it was like I just kept fighting the struggle. But the more I fought the struggle, the more the struggle fought me. So yeah, in absolutely. all areas of life. So. Yeah. 
that's similar to the um the love and hate video the other day is that polarity is there's always balance and so if we're trying to resist something it just keeps persisting because we're just not accepting it we're not owning it we're not taking the lesson that here to teach us um yeah and can was there like um did you have a coach or go to a retreat or or see someone or or what did you do was it just your own sort of inner self-reflection that got you through that stuff and got uh, yeah over the last year it's been myself um i have been seeing for a really long time an amazing um clairvoyant healer whatever you want to call her call her dawn she's amazing um she i call her um she literally i always say she pulls our nails out of our own coffin that we're creating for ourselves so cool, she's pretty yeah. amazing and um she kept saying to me for a while she's like like my guides and my pop and stuff. She's like, they're saying to you, why are you struggling? Stop trying to struggle against the struggle. And I'm just like, woe is me. Everything's crap. Um, but I have to say a massive shout out to like Chris that you know as well, Chris Duncan, because without his magnetic mindset and having my coach there, I don't think I would have gotten to the steps that I have in the last. And you know how you've been saying the last three weeks, nearly four now? Boom, man. I don't know what happened in the universe, but it's like those that have been on the awakening have just had this massive catapult forward. Um, yeah. And then Ryan, seriously. So I've seen that you were on before, before me, Ryan. Um, I've done kinesiology. I've done um, a little bit of quantum um, hypno, quantum healing hypnosis therapy. Um, a friend of mine did some of that for me and I got connected and stuff, but I've never, I've never experienced something so magical. It's the only way. That's why I keep calling Ryan the magic man. He is the magic, is the man, magic man, seriously. Yeah, a little plug there. Absolutely. Yeah, Ryan Schroeder, those looking so to do the spa. Is. Yeah. Um, but other than that, what kept me here, because there were some dark times and, um, you know, it's not a nice thing like, you know, talking about domestic violence is a taboo subject. Well, I'm here to fucking talk taboo and I'm sorry no, I'm because sorry. it needs to be spoken about. And um, suicide is uh, yeah. apparently a taboo subject as well. We don't want to be talking about Again, these things. Not on this show. Society, but stupid society says if you talk about them, someone's going to copy. Yeah, okay, because people really want to fucking copy something like that. No, it just helps you connect. And um, if it wasn't for, I'm going to say, like, it's truthful. My, I always get told your attitude's so good. And even when work let me go at that time, um, my area leader's like, we didn't realise all this was happening to you. You're always so positive and you carry everyone around you. Yeah, because that's me. It doesn't mean people don't have dark times. And if it wasn't for my, it's okay, it's just a rainy day. There's a fucking sunshine and a rainbow on its way. Let's just keep going. Um, I don't know if I'd be here if I was a different different um, soul and energy there. So, but as I said, I chose I it. And yeah, so. So yeah, with, other with suicide, right, that's something that it's been brought up in a few conversations. And, I, and I'm... Um, all for having it in, in conversation too, because what seems to be common with everyone that I'm speaking about it is that every, it's always an option. It's always um, not necessarily on the front of people's minds, but it's definitely been there quite frequently. And when times are shit, it's a, it is the thought like, well, it, it could all go away. That's, it is an the, option. That, that's the thought. Like, it's not necessarily like I yeah. thought, how can I do it? But I just thought yeah. if the world could only swallow me up and I could disappear and it's yeah. like the only way that the human mind pattern and thought goes to that is like, well, that's that kind yeah, of area there. It. And so that's why I yeah. literally on the path to help other women know that they're not alone and be like, if you're going through this, then mm. there's someone out here. Like, and the other thought, yeah. the other thought for me was um, less people would be hurt if I wasn't around mm. as well. Don't but do that's that. something that. No, I'm giving you air hugs, Matty. I uh, know, thanks, baby. It was it was just like I would just see people um, hurting around me, yeah, because of just the stupid shit that I do. So it was, um, yeah, it, that those two were the main things that come up for me. Um, but again, I think like I'm I'm really similar to you. Like if it wasn't for my ultra optimism um, and fear of pain in general. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah you never know you never know but i think for most people as well they go to the point like they have these thoughts and like oh maybe i'm bipolar or maybe i'm depressed blah, 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 and they start thinking all these fucked up things because it's not spoken about and it's like well yeah. if i'm thinking that maybe i am like 
all these other things. And it's like, well, no, you, you're perfectly fine. You just feel shit. And that's an option. So it's naturally going to come, come, come into your mind. So it's okay to think that stuff. It's not fucked. It's not, yeah, just it's about talking about it, being open about it. Yeah, thinking positively. Yeah, agreed. Um, yeah. Uh, there's so many subjects that we just need to be a little bit more open about. I think yeah. same as if we literally just helped fellow man next to us a little more, we'd have a pretty fucking pretty awesome world that we lived in. So speaking of that, tell us yeah. about how, how you're helping the, um, the women in 2019 and what you're putting together and where your vision sees the future. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, literally probably, well, it's been a while in the making, um, but from standing in true self recently, sorry, my phone went a bit weird there. I went into self of thinking, um, in standing in my true self recently and working out, okay, well, what the fuck am I actually doing? I have all this stuff that I do and I have all these things and I have all these amazing, as I described it in a few of my other videos, I have a beautiful basket of shiny apples and I've got a fucking bite out of all of them. So um, one of my projects is Seeking Out Sanctuary um, and it actually helps women be able to go from um, the emergency situation of domestic violence. Now we are looking at men and children as well but my main focus has been women but men will be able to use this as well because it is not just women, it's just that my, um, my trips and my mentoring I work with women because I relate to them and I can understand what they're going through. Um, so it actually will allow them to go from point A, point a to point B um, and be able to seek refuge within the community so that they can then liaison with all of the charities and all the things that they need to do without having that fear of being exposed or hurt more because of it. Because I don't know how many times I was hurt by partners from literally talking to my sister or calling the police or doing other things. And it actually becomes... Um, you know, you if you talk to women out there, they actually say how they're too scared to tell to tell yeah. authorities because yeah. a lot of the fucking time, sorry, police, and I'm actually um, been advised by um, the MP, um, Die Farmers team, to actually go and speak to um, other people when my local member told me to go and speak to police commissioner just to get this stuff up and running. And um, they don't fucking help us. They don't help us. They literally send them home that night and sometimes they put a good behaviour, I forget what it's called, but literally my partner at the time got a thing served on him saying he's not allowed to swear at me or anything. Cool. That's really not going to friggin' stop them. So um, that's one thing, but my, um, that's, my, that's my calling. That's my thing where it's literally my, um, I guess, I don't know, something popped into my head there. That's my Joan of Arc calling. But yeah. my... Um, my actual yeah. passion and what I love, love is my travel and um, literally, so I'll be hosting four trips a year, um, taking yeah. women to actually understand that they're a lot more stronger and powerful than they are, um, taking them to places like climb Machu Picchu and uncover these beautiful spiritual stories and connect with locals in the area and just um, have a, I always mm. say it's finding an adventure, but also an exploration and discovery of themselves. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of get lost while you're getting lost and get found while you're, you know, yeah. finding places, um, connecting mm -hmm. and going to South Africa and going and doing some work in the orphanages and actually going and meeting um, women of the communities there to understand that the, the, essentially the woman's spirit or whatever you want to call us, we are the same all over the world. I know that we need mm -hmm. sperm to get pregnant, to be able to have babies and stuff, but we are literally the vessel between the other realm and this one, between the spiritual and the physical realm. And I want women to know how fucking powerful we are because it's been a long time. And I'm not saying that women should be more powerful than men or men shouldn't be more powerful than women. It's about understanding who you are, what your purpose is. And who cares if you're the one that wants to mow the lawn and your hubby wants to fucking do the dishes or your partner, who gives a shit about that? It's about understanding who you are spiritually. Um, and then... Finally, finally got to fucking do my workshop, which I finally bit the bullet to get it out. I've been helping and mentoring people for free for a fucking long time now. Um, <laughs> yes. And I'm um, called in my circles um, the Pied Piper of Positive Change. So, Beautiful. yeah, <laughs> so um, I help people find their purpose. 
um, their passion and turn it into a profit because who wants to fucking die in an office sitting there doing 40 hours a week unless it's their passion anymore? Um, and through that, helping them deal with any trauma or any blocks and actually reaping, reaching out to some amazing other um, holistic therapies and people that um, both you and I know um, to help people be able to uncover that shit. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, under the um, name... Uh, both of them are, so it's the Empowered Goddess, um, which is where I do a bit of stuff about law of attraction and manifesting and I'm doing some life boards, which is a bit stronger um, thing of a vision board, which I got taught last year. Um, and then just registered the um, travel, re-changed and relaunched my travel company now as um, Empowered Goddess Travel. So was out there today meeting all the suppliers and having a chat and literally fucking Winning won everything. so many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is great for the wine, which can't drink at the moment. But, yeah, literally, um, I don't even know how. I just want to whip them all out. So first time I met Candice. Hey, Candice, I'm sure you're watching. Um, was at a, um, a women's market. I walked up and started talking to him. I was having a wine and I'm like, I am winning all the prizes tonight. She's like, what? I'm like, I put it out there. I'm winning it. And then they call my name. She's like, what the hell? I'm like, don't what? worry about this. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's literally just staying in that um, space of gratitude. It wasn't like, I'm going to fucking win everything and screw everyone else. It was thank yeah. you so much for the opportunities and things that I'm doing today. Thank you. And just feeling that, just that overwhelming gratitude to the universe for allowing me to experience what Jasmine decided to experience while I was here. So, yeah. yeah. That's so awesome. And that's basically what you teach others to, to be able to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, yeah. been a big thing of awakening in my calling recently of, um, and especially because I went through it and I've learned now how to fucking unshake those blocks that hang around. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's an everyday journey. You can't just wake up and go, everything's fine yeah. now. You've literally got to yeah. work on yourself every day. And as you unblock more, if you've got yeah. more shit in your fucking bag, it comes out. So I haven't. Never ending. A bit of, no, no. And I had a funny, Never funny ending. chat <laughs> with, <laughs> had a funny yeah. chat with Brian, which I said to him, I'm like, random moment but I've stopped looking at men like a piece of meat not sure what happened there but it's changed which a lot of my girlfriends <laughs> out there right now will be like what jazz <laughs> but yeah so he's uncovered something and cleared some bullshit that's Part of there, changes so. here. <laughs> so I'm like wow moment but um and you're yeah. only a week two as well aren't you is that right well he done my clearing and then um I'm starting because I've had so much on, but I'm starting my full clearings with him in about two weeks' time. So it was just he, we, we had a we had a fucking magical night. That sounds terrible, but uh, literally we were up until it. like yeah, till like twelve <laughs> twelve thirty in the morning. So thank you, Ryan, for putting up my ramblings and bullshit and uh, baggage. Um, but it was all, amazing. All necessary part. Yeah. So mm. anyone out there, seriously, like obviously, Matt, you're kind of like. The only way to describe it, it's kind of like you're the white rabbit leading other people to um, to meet these amazing experiences and uncover themselves more and more. Um, yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. so much fucking gratitude for you, man, seriously. And, yeah, um, yeah I've had my some, pleasure. as you said, magical people. I've had some magical people come into my life recently and um, the whole world's so changing. Yeah. It really it's has. awesome. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing, well, not, it's not funny. The thing, one of the things that I've noticed um, from a long time ago, but really it's coming to a head now that I'm actually focused on it is how many people have gone through some um, physical or mental abuse or sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and even the ones that haven't, they are heavily abusive towards themselves, either physically or, or emotionally as well. And I feel like the the people that have had an abuse from the external, it's just as, as um, painful as the people that are doing it to themselves. And so all this work, it's not just for people that have suffered from domestic violence or sexual yeah. abuse or anything like that. It's literally every single one of us has got negative and, and unsupportive belief patterns and habits and, and things that are just um, really detrimental to our health, to our well-being, to, to
there we go. It's imperative for everyone to dive within okay. and really, yeah, I did, yeah. And I am. I've got you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Cool beans. Yeah, so I just wanted to, to put that out there because um, it's full on. It just blows my mind. The more I talk to people, the more people open up. It's just so common. It's just common for everyone. That everyone's sort of going through something similar. Um, and also the people that have done the work, like yourself, say the same story of, of how, how much gratitude and love they have for what they've been through, where they are now, the, the person they've been able to become and now being out, being in a space where their cup is completely full and able to actually start looking outside of themselves and giving back, which is the most important thing. And giving back without feeling empty, empty is such a magical feeling. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I agree. And it's um, crazy. It could literally be, it could be the teacher that said something to you one day that changes your mindset on things. It could be um, hearing your grandfather talk all the time about that this person doesn't deserve this or this one shouldn't be here. It can be so many things that actually um, create that mindset for us that actually create our beliefs, yeah. which are limiting beliefs. And, um, you know, that's mm -hmm. the kind of stuff that, um, that, that actually blocks, actually blocks like manifesting. Oh, can you hear me still? Yeah, it's all fuzzy. Well, I plugged yeah, it into the PowerPoint. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the stuff there. Literally, I am's and limiting beliefs and um, that kind of stuff is literally what screws up our ability and not having real, raw, actual, real gratitude, not just, I'm so thankful for life, actually sitting in it and going, I'm actually thankful for that piece of poop journey that I just had or this happening or that happening and understanding why and having the gratitude for that. And that's, that's literally them having that right mindset and understanding your limiting beliefs and then flipping them and, um, yeah. and just creating that constant elation of gratitude because we're fucking lucky, man. Like we're okay. so lucky. <laughs> like I, I have a roof over my head. Um, I've got a fucking TV. I've got the ability to use internet. I've got the ability to talk and have met you because of technology. Um, I've got the ability the to learn. Part. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the ability to learn from Ryan and have all those things because of, you know, um, it's just, it's fucking magic, man. Yeah. For those that watch um, Gary V, who have seen this, but he's got this video and I fucking love it. Right. He's, he just comes balls out. He's like, you guys have, you, there's, the math's been done right. You've got one in 400 trillion chance with a T of even being alive, right? One in 400 trillion. So you've got more chances of winning the Tats Lotto 10 times in your lifetime than even fucking having a life. So what the fuck are you complaining about? I don't want to hear about how your dad blew you, uh, how you blew your knee out in high school, how your dad used to beat you or whatever, right? You've actually got a life. Now make this video the moment that you actually grab it by the balls and go and start living it. Mm, I love it. Mm-hmm. So it true. Is, it is like, yeah, we've got all this shit, but this shit, like, you break it right down. You know, salt is, a, we've got salt on a table in a shaker. There's certain things that are just ridiculously abundant that shouldn't be, that we've been able to innovate. And aluminium foil used to be, the mm -hmm. um, kings used to use aluminium for their cutlery and give gold and silver to the peasants and to, to their yeah. guests because aluminium was such a rare resource. But now we've learned how to, abundantly and look at that we just throw it away so it's um yeah it's, it's lobster totally used to be out. cat food over in the u.s and then they they traveled yeah. to, to i think it was like <laughs> oh i want to say england or somewhere and they were all ordering and they're like actually fuck it we've got abundance of this let's turn it into a into a uh a uh, what do you call it i was gonna say a rich person's food but a, a snooty food bye so that's one thing i did win tonight i won yeah. I won lobster prawn crackers. They're apparently the Maya and David yeah. June Jones of the prawn crackers of Japan. So Beautiful. I'll, yeah. I want one. I'll send them to you. You can have them. <laughs> you can let us awesome. all know what they're like. <laughs> all, right. Uh, Done. all right. So, so tell us again one more time your website, where to find you on Facebook, how to connect with you, and yeah, where, where the ladies can go to keep in touch with you for the upcoming events that you're going to be putting on next year. Yeah. So look guys, um, please add me just as myself on Facebook. I'm not one of those weirdos that are like, I'm not letting people 
at me. Sometimes I do check your page because I get a lot of creepy dudes. Um, but come over um, to my <laughs> – yeah, you're not a creep. You're just a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, um, claim it. <laughs> um, but come over. It's called the um, the Empowered Goddess. Um, the picture, there's a few of them that I've seen – like mine's registered as a business name, um, but there's a couple on Facebook, but mine's the actual woman that's standing there and you've got a bit of flames in the background. So just have a little look for that. You put a link um, in the comments and, as well. Yeah, I can do that. Easy as. Um, and Seeking Out Sanctuary is also on there. Please connect with me and let me know if you've got any charities or any other things that do need help because I'm literally like I'm really good at being able to get shit for free for people in need. Um, so please let me know anything I can do, I will do. Um, and yep. then um, empowered goddess travel. So um, come on over, have a little look. Um, I've got a couple of meetup groups as well, but we're better off staying. There's way too many platforms of social media nowadays. Um, but you can also find me as the Pied Piper of positive change on Instagram. So Beautiful. yeah. And you and me will talk about the uh, Trim Tab Transformation Foundation, the Mission for Children and the Adopt a Pop. So I'll chat to you about that. that oh, really? Really, really? Yeah. Cool, yeah. And the I, um, there was a little thing. I had a, someone over in the US do um, that kind of Adopt a Pop thing, but it was like presents for um, oldies in the home at Christmas. And um, I wrote a little poem saying, like, to the nan and pop I've never met. Um, oh, it was, it was awesome. It was great. I kind of remember that's it properly. Sweet. But that's what made me trigger it. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. yeah. And foundation. Yeah, so. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's why I was like the other night. I'm like, oh, gosh, I need to have a chat to her. So that's why I love when I was inboxing you. And I'm like, it's too big to chat via Facebook. Um, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. kind of stuff that I want to talk about. So, um. Let's change the world together, man. Every single person 100%. out there can change the world. So, guys, um, I put it to you as a challenge. Do something small. As I said today, buy 100%. a bottle of water. Donate something. Seriously, ask that person that looks lost. It's so small. Can I help you? Um, it is, yeah. Fucking ripples Starts make ripples, smile. man. Yeah, cool. Thanks yeah. for hanging out. appreciate your awesomeness yeah. sharing it with us. And, and, yeah, like, obviously – the stuff you're doing sounds amazing. I'm really excited to see what's coming up this year and to, to get a few of the girls from my network in there and, um, and go and just, yeah, change some shit up, transform some lives and really help others find their passion, their purpose. It's really exciting. Thanks, Maddie. I want to do my little hand thingy to say thank you, but I've only got one. So, yes, Mwah, you're you. amazing. Big love to every single one of you out there. Um, and Matt, thanks for, joining, guys. thanks for being part of my awakening, man. Love you heaps. My absolute pleasure. Love you too. Speak soon, guys. Enjoy. Bye.